In this problem, we're told an aluminum sphere is 8.75 centimeters in diameter. What will be its change in volume if it is heated from 30 degrees Celsius to 180 degrees Celsius? So in this problem, what we're trying to find is the change in volume. The way we're going to do that is by using uh, this for, uh, formula for thermal expansion, which is basically the change in volume is equal to beta times the initial volume times the change in temperature. So uh, the way we're going to solve it, right, is we just got to find all these values. So let's just go ahead and start with finding V sub zero, so the initial volume. So how do we do that? So to find the initial volume, the thing they give us is the diameter. And what we can do is just use the volume of a sphere, right, that formula, in order to calculate it. So the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So if we want to go ahead and solve this, all we got to do is plug in, well, we know the diameter is 2 times the radius, so just divide by 2. So the radius is the diameter divided by 2, so we can just substitute. So basically the volume is just 4 over 3 pi, and then it's just going to be this value, 8.75 divided by 2 cubed. So go ahead and plug this in your calculator, 4 divided by 3, multiply it by pi, and then multiply it by 8.75 divided by 2 cubed. And so when you go ahead and do this, what you're going to get is that it equals or the volume, right? The initial volume is 350.77. So and then keep in mind the units, it's going to be centimeters cubed because this was in centimeters. So we have the initial volume. Now let's find the change in temperature. So they tell us it's going to go from 180 or 30 to 180. So to find the change in something, you take the final minus the initial. So the final is 180. The initial was 30. So it's just going to be 150. So 150 degrees Celsius. And then what we have right here, beta is just the thermal expansion, right? The coefficient. In this case, it's volume, right? So we know that for aluminum is going to be 75 times 10 to the minus 6. And then the units are inverse degrees Celsius. So you can find this in your textbook, right? In this case, it's for aluminum. It's different depending on the material. So you just got to look in your textbook and it'll give you uh, the number. So now we've got uh, beta, we have the initial volume, and we have the change in temperature. So if we want to find the change of volume of this aluminum sphere, we just got to plug it in. So plugging it in, we get the change in volume equals uh, 75 times 10 to the minus 6. Multiply it by 350.77, and then times 150. So go ahead and plug this in. We got 75 times 10 to the minus 6. Uh, multiply it by 350.77 and then multiply it by 150. And so when you go ahead and do that, what you're going to get is that it equals 3, sorry, it equals 3.946 and so on, right? So 3.946. 1625 and keep in mind I rounded right here so it's going to be basically be equal to about all right it's going to be equal to about 3.95 then the units in this case uh, keep in mind this was in inverse degrees Celsius this was in degrees Celsius so they cancel and then this was centimeters cubed so this is also going to be in centimeters cubed so change in volume is going to be equal to about 3.95 centimeters cubed and so yeah this is going to be about your answer right keep in mind I rounded but yeah so this is your answer and hopefully you found this useful.